vibration damping is, has little to do with stiffness. A lot of people believe that a frame that's extra stiff will not absorb vibration. And it also depends on where you put that stiffness. We tend to design bikes where the stiffness is in the drivetrain. So when the chainstay has to be a certain thickness, a certain stiffness to, to resist the tension of the chain when you stand up on it and really crank, the frame has to transfer that, that power into the rear wheel. So the chainstay area, the bottom bracket area, that is very important to be large and stiff. Uh, overall, when you're twisting the bike, going climbing a hill, you're putting torsional uh, loading onto the frame. So they have to be a larger diameter, thicker wall too, to resist that uh, torsion. Torsional stiffness doesn't mean it has to be stiff vertically. Uh, bamboo as a grass is meant to bend in the wind. So in straight bending, bamboo is not as stiff as say aluminum tube, which is stiff in all directions. So having a bike that can, can, can flex and vibrate uh, vertically is really important. The um, vibration damping of bamboo comes from the fact that it's not round and straight and it has nodes in it and the wall thickness varies a little bit. The structure of bamboo is asymmetrical basically. It doesn't resonate uh, vibration at all. It, it absolutely deadens vibration. A perfectly round, uh, perfect wall thickness metal tube, it resonates vibration. It, it rings when you tap it. Bamboo, it's you know, it's a pretty dull, a dull sound. There's no resonant vibration going on. So that vibration from the road doesn't travel up through your frame into your hands and into your into your uh, saddle. So it, it really smooths. So it, it really smooths out the ride, and it's it's something that people can get excited about when they actually ride it because you you can talk about bikes all day long, but. When you really ride a bike, that's when you know that it really works.